Good morning, my dear friends. Jesus Christ is Lord. God sent me out to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hoping that today that some of you may give a light to God. Amen. Today message is God is good. God is good all the time. The Bible says, test and see that the Lord is good. God is a good God. Do you believe that God is good? It is easy to answer yes. And of course, it is easy to say, God is good when things are going well. But when we are struggling or difficulty or trial or tribulation, then it becomes more of an open question. Whether God is good or not, we wonder if God is good. Then why there is this? Why this illness? Why this painful relationship? Why this financial problem? Why this lust? Why this disappointment? And so, is God really good? This morning, I want us to know that life is difficult, but God is good. Consider the following. All of us shall encounter lust, pain, sorrow, disappointment, discouragement, but faith allow us to find a way through struggle. The writer of the Hebrew says, faith is what you hope for in this time of lust, pain, sorrow, disappointment. I have a hope of a better day. This will pass. Pain is temporal. Loss is temporal. Sorrow is temporal. Disappointment is temporal. But faith is eternal. I am sure that others have worse than me. Faith does not mean we will live successfully. It does mean we will live victoriously. Faith does mean that you have a hope. The faith is the substance of hope for and the evidence of not seeing. The things not seen. That's what faith is. Faith does mean that we live secure. We live in secure knowledge that that we have absolute trust, confident, complete confidence in the promises of God. You see, faith allows us to live victoriously. Although life is difficult, and we know for sure that God is good, we can still live victoriously. Faith in self is a victor. Life is difficult, but God is good. The psalmist claims he has faith in an unseen God. In Psalm 121 says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, for where is coming my help? My help coming from the Lord, who made the heaven and earth. Life is difficult, but I have faith in God's promises. Life is difficult, but I have faith in God's continual presence. Life is difficult, but I know that God is good. Amen? God is good all the time. It doesn't matter what the Satan says. It doesn't matter what the Satan does. I want you to know, my dear friend, today, that God is a good God. We all have encountered struggle, regret, loneliness, and hopelessness. Life is difficult, but never forget God is good. Hard place on every side. Life is difficult, but God is a good God. Faith is more than believing. It's acting on what you believe and trusting that God will do what he says he will do. Even in the area of difficulties, God is good. Life is difficult, but God never abandons us. He says, neither will I forsake you or leave you. God is a good God. In many times we saw down. Life is difficult, but Job will say, God is good. You have not suffered like Job. Nobody can ever suffer like Job in this world. And yet, Job said, God is good. So friend, while we still live our life, death still seeks us. Life is difficult, but one day, the Bible says, the perishable will be clothed with imperishable, and the mortal shall be clothed with immortality. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where all death is your victory? Death, where is your stain? God is good. Even in death, in life situation, God is a good God. The Bible teaches that God is good. In Psalm 100, verse 5 says, For the Lord is good, 
His steadfast love endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. And the Bible said, We know that in all things, God works for good for those that love Him, and who have been called according to His purpose. Regardless of how our stagnancies may appear, we maintain our faith and confidence in God. We trust in Him. No matter what happens, we do not give any fear or despair or panic or confusion. We can control our life because we know God is in control of our lives. Amen. God is a good God. It doesn't matter what happens. We don't even demand explanation. We just stay on course, trusting, following, praying, obeying, confident that God will bring everything to conclusion that he promises us and he blesses us and he glorifies himself. What does it mean to believe in God's goodness? It means that when things happen to us that are painful, unhappy, confusing, we welcome all this event, trusting that we receive God, that these things come from God. Job said, do God only give good things? So you see, my dear friend, God cares for us, God loves us, a father who has the best interest in view. In conclusion, God does not want you to ask or to understand. Only want you to do is to trust Him and believe that He's good and to trust Him and to follow Him and to obey Him. He asks us to believe that the end result is worse than the pain and the struggle. To believe that we know that what He's going to do to be willing and for us to put our faith in Him rather than to trust ourselves or our own understanding. Will you do that today? Will you trust in God? Tell us and lay your own understanding in your own ways. The Bible says, Oh, do you despise the richness of His goodness, forbearance, and long suffering, and not knowing that goodness of God leads you to repentance? You see, friend, God bless you, sir. The goodness of God is what brings repentance in our lives. And the Bible says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just. And to forgive us and cleanse us from all our righteousness. So, my dear friend, the message is loud and clear. God is good. Life is tough. Life is difficult. Life is struggle. But God is good. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Have a beautiful day. Hallelujah.